Manager, you called me. Yes, why did you refuse to sign the document I gave to you to sign? But sir, everything in that document is false. I can't sign it. It's against my conscience. Do you have a conscience? In fact, you have two options. Either you sign the document or you leave your office. But sir, get out of my office. Nonsense. Oh God, what do I do? Why this temptation? You know I suffered to get this job, and I can't afford to lose it. Save me. Remember, I'm your servant. Don't give me temptation bigger than me, please. Come to my office. Oh God, what do I do? He is calling me again, and today is the last day he gave me. Should I sign the false document, or not? Let me sign it. I don't want to lose my job. Yes, have you signed it? Yes, sir. I just signed it now, before coming. I'm sorry, you are not qualified. Sir, what do you mean, I have signed it? I'm sorry, I wish, you did not sign it. You could have been promoted to manager of the other company. The director instructed me to look for genuine Christian, a person with fear of God who could not compromise, no matter what. So I put you to text, because I thought you are a genuine Christian, but I'm wrong. What? But that was temptation? I was I afraid to lose my job. That is why you are not qualified to be the manager. If you are a child of God, I mean a genuine one, you will fear nothing, whether temptation or trials. No, 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 no. I have worked so hard for this. Sir, please, try me again. I'm sorry, it's over. Why do you fear temptation and persecution if they have tempted and persecuted our Lord Jesus? who is sinless, who are you not to be tempted, you see believer, if you are a child of God, and from year to year, month to month, week to week, day to day, you do not face any temptation, it means, you are not genuine. Temptation, is what make you a real Christian, is what make you know that your name is written in the book of life, when you are getting temptation and persecution, it means you know what you are doing, temptation and persecution is what gives you reward, on this earth and after this earth. Child of God temptation makes children of God know there have not deviate from worshiping God. Whenever you are tempted, it means you are on the line, you have not fallen. Temptation and persecution is the reason you will be getting rewards in heaven. I don't know how to put this. Temptation and persecution, when overcome, is like installing treasures in heaven. The more temptation and persecution you overcome, the more reward you will be getting in heaven. Temptation and persecution is like a ticket to heaven when overcomes. That Jesus was led up of the Spirit to be tempted of the devil suggests that even believers who are sound in faith can experience trials and temptation. This would count through juicy enticements to compromise in the pursuit of our daily bread. Matthew 4 verse 3 through offers of worldly, fame and influence, Matthew 4 verse 6, and through suggestions for Christians, to go into reckless contests with, unbelievers, for personal recognition, that does not honor God, Matthew, 4 verse 6. Jesus, the word personified, wielded, the sword of the Spirit, or the word effectively, to defeat Satan, John 1 verse 1 to 14, if a science 6 verse 17. Since believers engage in perpetual spiritual warfare with the devil, we must arm ourselves with the word of God to always overcome him. We must allow the Holy Spirit to teach and guide us in the appropriate application of the word to be able to say it is written more forcefully than Satan. Regular intake and internalization of the word is key to overcoming satanic onslaught in life and ministry. The word carries eternal power of the Godhead, that Satan cannot withstand, where the word of a king is, in your heart, life, home, church, there is power. Try to be an overcomer, when face persecution and temptation. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, like, share, and follow. God bless you. And remember, you are not bigger than Jesus, who has been tempted.